Hi, my name is Kevin Poe and I'm a Dark Ranger. Dark Rangers are a group of people that are sworn to heighten awareness about the spread of light pollution to protect the night skies for astronomy, for ecological benefit, and for human health. Yeah, one of the first things that people are concerned about when we try to encourage them to be more careful with light is safety. And there's this um, common sense notion that the more light you have, the safer you are. And fortunately, like most things in life, it's not been scientifically tested, or at least the science that has been done has not been correctly applied. Uh, there's a great study that was done a few years back outside of the main city of London. Some of the neighborhoods where they were able to compare social political uh, characteristics to find neighborhoods that were very, very similar one to the other, and they went around around and doubled the amount of light in one particular neighborhood, leaving another one at the same amount for a control, and they found out that when they doubled the amount of light, they actually got a doubling in the amount of crime which is exactly what common sense would say wouldn't happen. So as they're interviewing the burglars and the muggers, one of the questions they were asking was, you know, hey, why were you guys hitting that one neighborhood so hard? And the answer, for the most part, was, well, we just felt a lot safer there because of all the extra light. And in reality, uh, when you keep your house brightly lit, you make the job of a burglar very easy. If, if I was a burglar, I could stand on the public sidewalk and look at your house, and I could tell if your windows are brightly lit which ones have security alarms on them, which ones don't. In a general sense, if you can see the bulb, so if you have your light fixture, you should have enough of a shroud on it, the bulb itself is not visible. Because when you can see the bulb, then you have to contend with glare. The, the human eye is not designed to, to measure an amount of light so much as it's designed to measure the contrast of different shades of gray. So what a bulb does is it creates a very bright spot and lots of heavy shadows. And you just can't see very far into the, into the background and all you can see is that bright light. It's the effect you get when you're driving down a road and somebody forgets to dim their lights. You're, you're blinded and that's unhelpful. What you need is a light that's shrouded so the bulb is no longer visible and it's lighting up a smaller area with not as much light intensity. I think for just the regular person, there's also this important cultural connection. You know, who doesn't like to go out into the, the wild, dark places that are still left and enjoy the beauty of a nighttime sky. It's been a tradition for thousands of years where the constellations in the sky are connected to important cultural stories. And of course, we are most familiar with the Greek and Roman stories, but American Indians, Chinese, people all over the globe had the important stories they told uh, in the sky. Another reason to be concerned about protecting natural darkness.